for this video, what we want to do is we want to use the parallelogram rule to find the resultant force. So we have two forces, a 3-pound force and a 40-pound force that are separated by a 45-degree angle. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a parallelogram with the vectors. So I'm going to draw a vector that is parallel to the 3-pound force, and then I'm going to draw a vector that is parallel to our 40 pound. So these two sides are parallel to each other. Remember with parallelograms, what we end up having is that the opposite sides are equal. So this one is three pounds, and then this one would be 40 pounds. Okay, and the resultant force is the force that is formed by adding these two forces together. So we're basically taking um, force A plus force B and adding them together. Okay, um, so this is the side that we are looking for, this yellow side right here, which I'm just going to call C, and I'm going to finish labeling my triangle as triangle ABC. So we're going to use triangle ABC to help us out. So what we need to do is we need to use the fact that this side is parallel to this side, and we have two same side interior angles formed. And remember that in parallel lines, that if you have two angles that are on the same side of a transversal in between the two parallel lines, that those two angles are always going to be supplementary. So we can say that angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, which gives us a total of 135 degrees. Okay. And so now what we can do, because we have a side, an angle, and a side, this tells us that we are going to use law of cosines to help us out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to find side C, I can say that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of 135 degrees. Um, I already filled in the number. I meant to write the formula first. Cosine of angle C, which is 135 degrees. All right, so let's fill in all the values that we don't know. We don't know C squared. A squared would be the side opposite of angle A, so that would be 40. Plus B squared would be 3. Minus 2 times 40 times 3, cosine of 135 degrees. And since we are just finding C, I would take the square root of this entire value. So I'm going to plug that into my calculator. I'm going to plug it in exactly as it is. So I'm going to do second square root, 3 squared. Ah. Let me put the 40 squared first. 40 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 40 times 3. And it doesn't matter the order that you have the 40 and the 3. If I would have done 3 squared plus 40 squared, I would have got the same answer. Um, after I've entered this in, I am going to verify that I am in degree mode. So I would do cosine of 135 degrees. Verify that you are in degree mode, which we are. If you are in radian mode, you do need to change it because radian mode would give you the wrong answer. And then you're going to hit enter and you end up with 42.1747. So C is approximately 42.17. So if we just rounded to the nearest pound, we could say the resultant force is approximately 42 pounds. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.